Happy Sunday everyone! This is Ilze B. I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian to English speakers. Welcome to day 4 of my Latvian challenge 4 words a day. And today I will teach you more about the rhythm, the rhythmic feet and literally as well. There will be words that concern the rhythm. I'd like to start with a little disclaimer. This rhythmic thing that I'm teaching to you is not anything that is formally accepted in teaching Latvian. That's a thing that I could say I invented, but I didn't grab it out of the blue air. I had two sources of inspiration, and the first source is our Latvian folk songs, because there are rhythmic feet in the Latvian folk songs. And there are basically two types of rhythmic feet. And as I use the words yes, no in demonstrating the rhythm, so I will use those words yes and no to demonstrate the typical rhythms of the Latvian folk songs. And they are yes, no, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, no. Yes, no, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, something like that. Or it can be yes, no, 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 yes, no. So what I thought was that even though there are longer words in Latin than just single syllable words or two and three syllable words, there could be still little stresses on other syllables, not just the first syllable which typically bears the stress in a word. So that is my concept. And the second source of inspiration is that some time ago, actually a long time ago, I agreed to work at school. And first I taught English to small children, and afterwards I taught English to senior students. But when I was teaching English to smaller students, I was searching information in library, how to more effectively teach English. And I came across some books in the British Library in Riga. And that book had great rhyming dialogues or monologues where the teacher could play with stresses. And I remember how much my students loved it. I remember one of those. I'll tell you this. It started out like really quiet. It was like, hush, hush, baby sleeping. Hush, hush, baby sleeping. Please be quiet, baby sleeping. Please be quiet, baby sleeping. Shut up, shut up, baby sleeping. Shut up, shut up, baby sleeping. And you can imagine how my students laughed when I was teaching this to them. So I thought this would be a great idea how to teach Latvian, because really, you learn better when you learn small units. For instance, rhythmical feet, or when you can visualize the rhythm of a sentence. That's where I'm coming from. Just wanted to share this with you. But anyway, I'll tell you what the today's sentence is, and it is Esi tu ritmu ar abām rokām. And its rhythm is like this. No, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, no. You can visually see that this sentence could be divided into two equal parts, and each of them rhythmically would sound like this. No, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, no. But when I say it in a normal Latvian pace, listening to the rhythm, I hear that that sentence rhythmically wouldn't divide in the middle. This is how I hear where it's divided. The first part would be no, yes, no, yes, no, no. And the second part would be yes, no, yes, no. So once more, the first part would be no, yes, no, yes, no, no. 
And the second part would be yes, no, yes, no. And I will teach you the second part first. There are two words in the second part of this sentence and those words are abam ruakam. Well, you already know the word ruaka or ruakas. Ruaka is the default form of that word. And you learned the word ruakas in the phrase man ir divas ruakas. So in that sentence the word has the ending as, but in today's sentence the word will have an ending am. And there is a long vowel a in this word. There is the long vowel a also in the word that precedes the word ruakam. So the last word is ruakam. 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 You know this word already. So I'm going to teach you the word that precedes this word ruakam. And that word is abam. 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 There are two vowels in this word. The first vowel is the short a and the second vowel is the long a. Yes, those are two separate vowels. That is not the same vowel that has the so-called accent on it because in Latvian we don't call the diacritical signs accents. They are lengthening signs. We don't put accents on words in Latvian. And once more, those are two separate vowels. The short a and the long a. It's pronounced the same way as the short a, but you have to simply pull it longer. A. In the word it is abam. Abam. I teach more about how to pronounce Latvian vowels and consonants and diphthongs in my course Sounds and Writing that is currently available for $27. And there are three parts in this course and in each part there are 13 units, 13 videos. But anyway, the last two words together are abam ruakam. Abam ruakam. You see it on the screen now. Abam ruakam. And I'd like you to pronounce it together with me two times. Abam ruakam. Abam ruakam. And although rhythmically I included the word that precedes the word abam in the first part of the sentence, semantically that word really needs to be in the second part of the sentence. So I'll teach you that word now and that word is very simple. It's a single syllable word ar. 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 You hear the Latin ar in this word. So the last three words of the sentence are ar abam ruakam. Ar abam ruakam. The first word is not stressed and then the stress is on the first syllable of the words that follow. And these three words mean with both hands. Remember how I told you that the word ruakas means arms? In this sentence it really means hands. It's just how Latvians would express this thought that I'm teaching to you. This far you know the meaning of the three last words. Ar abam ruakam means with both hands. But now I'll switch to the first part of the sentence. And it sounded like this. Es situ ritmu. Es situ ritmu. Es situ ritmu. You hear the S sound there. You know why? It's because there are two 
words that have S's and they collide. The first word is S and that word is not stressed and the second word is SITTU. So when we pronounce these two words together, you hear the S longer. Esitu ritmo. Because you are trying to pronounce the S in both of those words. One more time. Esitu. And this is how it looks. Esitu. Esitu. Pronounce it together with me. Twice. Esitu. The stress is on the second syllable or on the first syllable of the second word. Esitu. Can you do it without me looking at the screen where it's written? That's great! And now we only need to learn one more word and that word is ritmo. Ritmo. There is the Latvian R again in this word and I think you might have guessed the meaning of this word. Ritmo. Ritmo. Of course, it means rhythm. So if you know that the first word means I, the word S means I, and the third word means rhythm, you can probably guess that the second word is a verb, an action word. And what do you do with the rhythm? You can chant the rhythm, but most likely you can beat the rhythm. So that's the meaning of this word combination. Es situ ritmo means I am beating rhythm. Remember, we don't need to put any article or any little pronoun before Latvian nouns. One more time, these three words together. Es situ ritmo. And rhythmically, it would be like this. No, yes, no, yes, no. No, yes, no, yes, no. Es situ ritmo. Es situ ritmo. Can you repeat this after me? I'll pronounce it one more time and then I want you to pronounce it without my help. Es situ ritmo. And let's attach the second part of the sentence to these three words. And that was Es situ ritmo ar abām rokām. So the second part of the sentence was ar abām rokām. Ar abām rokām. Ar abām rokām. The first part Es situ ritmo. Es situ ritmo. But just like I said before, I hear that rhythmically the sentence divides after the word ar. So rhythmically the first part of the sentence would be es situ ritmo ar. Es situ ritmo ar. No, yes, no, yes, no, no. No, yes, no, yes, no, no. And once more with words in it. Es situ ritmo ar. Can you repeat this together with me? Let's do it. Es situ ritmo ar. And then there are last two words that you need to attach to this. And those two words were abam ruakam. Abam ruakam. Let's try to do it all together. I'll pronounce it once, you look at it written, and then let's pronounce it together. Es situ ritmo ar abām rokām. Did you hear how it divides rhythmically after the word ar? One more time. Es situ ritmo ar abām rokām. And just like yesterday, I have some entertainment at the end of this lesson. I will be showing you what I was teaching you. Watch me. And this will be the rhythm of our sentence. And 
and I'll put the words in it. Es situ ritmu ar abām rokām. Es situ ritmu ar abām rokām. Do you think we can do it together? I'll do it slowlier. And you'll have the words written on your screens. Es situ ritmu ar abām rokām. Es situ ritmu ar abām rokām. Let's do it two more times. Es situ ritmu ar abām rokām. Es situ ritmu ar abām rokām. Was it fun? I hope it was. And now I'll pronounce the sentence one more time, but in the normal pace, like Latvians would normally speak. Es situ ritmu ar abām rokām. Do you think we can do it? At least try doing it together with me. I'll have it written on your screens. Let's do it. Es situ ritmu ar abām rokām. Let's do it two more times. Es situ ritmu ar abām rokām. Es situ ritmu ar abām rokām. And that's it for today's lesson. Keep up the good work. I'm so happy that you are with me. And as always, you will have the default forms of the words after this video. And I will prepare the PDF file for you so that you can revise it later. Bye! Till tomorrow! So today's words were situ, and its default form is sist, ritmu, and its default form is rhythms. And then there was a word ar, which was already in its default form, and finally the word abam, and its default form is abi.